all right hello everyone and welcome back to the channel so today's video we are going to be talking about the u panzer now i did already make a video about this tank when i got back from vacation or was on vacation i can't quite remember but i did not yet have the tank i now do have the tank and have some gameplay of it and my opinion has changed a little i think this tank is way way better than it looks on paper this tank is actually quite amazing so this is my first battle that i had in the tank um it's i always like to show my first battle in the tank unless it's actually like horrific like 500 battle uh, i mean 500 damage game i won't show that just because it's kind of useless to show but generally i do like to show the very first battle i've had just so you guys can get the same impression that i do of the tank so the u panzer of course like i was talking about it seemed just to be decent in the video that i did make about this but now after playing it this tank is amazing. I love this thing. It's very agile. It can, you know, twist and turn very easily. Decent top speed. Accuracy is great. The pin is actually really good on this tank. So is the DPM. Uh, the DPM is very nice. Really, everything about this tank is nice. Now, the armor also feels a little bit stronger than it looked on paper, which is always a bonus. Basically, everything about this tank is better in-game. Um, in my opinion, than it was on paper. So I'm really enjoying this thing. I mean, look at the accuracy. Easy shot there on the MT25 over there. And it's really just an enjoyable tank to play. This is way better than I thought it was going to be um, after looking at it. Um, as you can see here, we've already farmed up 1,100 damage, completely decimated the enemy flank. Uh, I mean, with ease. And we're now moving on to the heavies and stuff. And yeah, there's just pretty much... a, a there's really just, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, basically everything about this tank is better than I thought it was going to be, and that was one of the reasons I was planning on making another video of the tank uh, when I did get the tank, because I do have the battle pass this season, I did not actually buy the battle pass, I won it in a giveaway, just so you know, um, uh, I did not buy the battle pass, so I was like, you know what, when I got the battle pass, I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and make a video on the u -Panzer when I get it, um, so here is that video. Um, and yeah, it's a really enjoyable tank, and I would say if they're, if you're not doing as many battle passes as normal, because the tanks have just been kind of meh, you know, which I, th I've thought they've kind of been meh recently, not really that good of tanks, I would say go for this one, it's a pretty dang good tank, of course all the other rewards are, um, the same as they've always been, it's always worth it, um, in my opinion, uh, the reason I hadn't gotten it is I just didn't really need those rewards, I didn't care that much, to actually get it and I didn't care for the tank but this tank is actually very enjoyable so I am glad that I was able to get this uh, battle pass um, and I will most likely be getting more battle passes in the future as soon as I get monetized which I'm very close to um, stay tuned and watch the rest of the video so that I can get some more watch time uh, thank you but yeah um, as you see here 1900 damage one kill that was our first game in the tank not bad for our first game in the tank um, and now we are going to do the uh, the second game that I have here for you, which is much better on, uh, well not much better, it's better on Yamaha Harbor. And yeah, so this tank, I would say the best playstyle of this, obviously you are a medium tank and you just want to do, not a classic mediums roll, go the medium side. And when you get to the medium side, don't YOLO. But push aggressively. I can tell this tank is great at pushing aggressively. It's really fast. You know, it can swerve up into rocks and get into positions where the enemy will miss. Um, nice that we took no damage from this leopard right here. And we absolutely destroyed this guy instantly. I mean, the poor guy had no chance against us. He literally cannot pin the front of our tank. It's a leopard. Horrible pin. And this is what I mean. Just YOLO kind of straight in. I mean, like I said, don't YOLO. It's never really good to YOLO. But if you have some teammates with you and some support, if you push very aggressively in, it seems so far from what I have played of the tank that it does very well in those situations. As you see, it gets up to about 55, which is a good top speed for a tier 6 medium. But also, the traverse and stuff, it seems very agile to me. Also, it's not the, it's not the worst at ramming either. Um, it seems pretty decent at ramming from what I have 
uh, the few rams I have had in the tank. And as you see right here, we have pretty much caught the entire enemy team just a little bit off spawn since we pushed in so quickly and so aggressively. As you can see, we easily backed up over that ridge and got behind there, saving us from the KB2 or the Tiger. Um, and we can now go kind of hold down right here, not full hold down, but we can use the, I think it's six or is it eight degrees of gun depression this tank has? I think it's six. Um, it might be seven or eight though. It does seem like a pretty decent amount. It definitely allows you to work on some ridges um, and stuff. Um, and we are able to get, as you can see, a very easy pin on that Tiger. That are, that's what I was talking about. The penetration on this tank is actually very good. So now we're going to come up behind this SU, and we are just going to farm him up real quick. Get the kill on this guy. That brings us up to three kills. And now we have a Tiger that is pushing us. So we do take a shot from him, but I do know I can reload before him. So I am going to poke around. Do another shot. He's now pushing on us because he knows that we have a quicker reload than him. But unfortunately, we don't quite reload in time to shoot him again while he was around the corner. So we'll go for him again. He has reloaded now. His adrenaline has run out. So we're going to be able to pop another one into him. And he is now a one shot. And since we are a two shot, it's really fine if he pushes us. So he will push. We do lag a little there. And we are able to take him out. So we're now four kills, 2,200 damage. And we're going to get another two shots here on this T-34. So yeah, the u are quite a good tank in my opinion. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely a surprise how good it was. Uh, it didn't look as good on paper, like I said, but it really does play smooth and plays well. And of course the tank looks pretty cool with all like the barnacles and stuff like that on it. And of course the HD graphics. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, worth it in my opinion, the tank for this battle pass. Uh, and see you in the next one. Bye.